the legal frameworks uh, and the societal frameworks that still hold the pilot responsible and you know recognize that generative AI as as as, the, as a tool, which I think is what I've said you know previously in this conversation is that these things at the end of the day are tools and they're being used by humans to achieve an end. So, but it's very, very complicated. May, you know, just play devil's advocate to this argument about the pilot thing. You know, some would argue that, um, Hey, I just sell Coke. I don't use it. You know, other people use it. So, you know, that's still illegal. You know? Yeah. Yep. And it's, and it's, and it's like, illegal. Like, like it should be, you know, it should be like, <laughs> like, like that. We have laws for a reason. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, but some people argue argue that this technology, if it's bringing bad behavior in the people, then you should nip the evil in the bud. Um, So in that regard, they're kind of evaluating LLMs with Coke and marijuana, which is legal, by the way, in some states. Yeah, but I, I but I think the the analogy there is it's 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 not like it will induce you to do. Yeah, the LLM is not going to like hit you up and be like, hey, have you thought about you know trying to move the market with insider, uh, you know, fake insider (laughs) information today? You know, that's something that you're doing and you're just using, you know, that as an accelerant. 